Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are fine and safe. Today we are going to start studying the next topic of our English grammar, that is reported speech. So, as the title suggests, reported speech. So, this is that speech which is reported inside the inverted commas. We can also say the text which is quoted inside inverted commas is called reported speech. We have two types of speech. First is direct speech. Second is indirect speech. Students, direct speech means the actual words spoken by the speaker himself can be known as direct speech. In other words, we can say that these are those words which are directly spoken by the speaker. So, if we take the example like it is given, Ram said to me, I am going to market. So, I am going to market. These are those words which are directly spoken by Ram. So, this is the example of direct speech. And secondly, if we take indirect speech, these are those words which are changed by someone else, whereas the meaning exists the same can be known as indirect speech. It means these are those words which are not directly spoken by the speaker. These are the words which are spoken by ourselves expressing the way of speaking somebody else. So, we are taking the same example which we have taken in direct speech. Ram said to me, I am going to market. So, if we have to change this speech into indirect speech, then we have to use these words. Ram told me that he was going to market. So, obviously students, we can see this thing that some of the words have been changed like the changes in reporting verb, pronouns, inverted commas and in tenses. But the meaning of the sentence is not changing in this example. So, it is known as indirect speech. So, how do we come to know that we have to change direct speech with that of indirect speech keeping in our mind different types of rules. So, for this thing we have to learn some of the specific rules which are given here. So, the first is Changes in reporting verbs. Reporting verbs means the word said to used in any sentence. So, if we have to change any direct speech sentence into that of indirect speech, first of all, we have to concentrate on the types of sentences also. Students, we have four types of sentences. Declarative means simple. This is the first sentence. Simple sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence. So students, how do we have to do the changes in reporting verb? If we see that our sentence is written as simple sentence, then the reporting verb set to will be changed into told. And if our sentence is written in an interrogative form, putting some question mark or any question, so it will be changed into asked. And if our sentence is written as an imperative sentence, imperative sentence means expressing some commands like suggestion, order, request, etc. Then the reporting verb will also be changed with that type of command which is used in any speech. So, the reporting verb set to will be changed into the commands like ordered, requested, suggested, wished etc and if our sentence is exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence means those sentences which express the feelings then the reporting verb set to will be changed into exclaimed mentioning the type of feelings for example exclaimed with sorrow exclaimed with joy exclaimed with disgust or exclaimed with surprise or etc so, the next is changes in inverted commas. How do we have to do the changes in inverted commas? It also depends upon the types of sentences. For example, if our sentence is simple sentence, then inverted commas will be changed into that. If our sentence is interrogative, then inverted commas will be changed into if or whether. 
but there is one condition if our speech starts from the question words wh or how then inverted commas will not be changed and speech can be directly written and if our sentence is imperative sentence then inverted commas will be changed into to and if our speech is exclamatory speech means it is written in an exclamatory sentence then inverted commas again will be changed with that as we have done in simple sentences so these were two types of changes which were based upon the types of sentences changes of reporting verbs and changes of inverted commas now we have changes in tenses if our speech is written in simple present tense then it will be changed into simple past present continuous past continuous present perfect past perfect tense present perfect continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous tense simple past tense will be changed into past perfect tense past continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous tense and past perfect tense it is different if we see that our speech is written in past perfect tense then we don't have to do any change the next is changes in pronouns means how do we come to know that our pronouns will be changed into which words for example if our speech starts from i or you then how do we come to know that we have to change these pronouns with any other pronoun so there are some specific rules for that also if our speech starts from first person pronouns like i me my we us or are then it will be changed into the speaker of the speech and if our speech starts from second person pronouns then it will be changed into the listener of the speech and if our speech starts from third person pronouns like he she it or they then we don't have to do any change in the pronouns so now we have some changes in some possible conversation possible conversation or we may say changes in adverbs of time so if we see these words now today yesterday last night last week or tomorrow it will be changed into some specific words which are given in this table if we see in our speech the word now is written for example i have completed my work now then it should be changed the word now should be changed into then or at that time because we have to mention our sentence in its past form in an indirect speech and if the word today is used in the speech it will be changed into that day or yesterday and if we see already the word yesterday is used in a speech then it will be changed into the previous day or the day before and if our word last night it is written in any direct speech then it will be changed into the night before or the week before and if we see the word tomorrow is written in the speech then it will be changed into the following day or the next day now at last we have some words which are based upon nearness time or auxiliary verbs means modals then we have some specific words to be changed for example this will be changed into that means if the word this is written in direct speech then it will be changed into that in an indirect speech there will be changed into those now then here there today that day tomorrow the next day yesterday the previous day last night the previous night can will be changed into could may will be changed into might shall should will would ago before just 
then come will be changed into go in an indirect speech so students these are some specific rules which we have to keep in mind if we have to change any speech which is written in direct way and we have to change that in an indirect way so keep it in your mind that we have to concentrate first of all types of sentences because if we have to do the changes on the basis of reporting verbs and inverted commas then we must concentrate on the types of sentences these types of sentences are basically depend upon the changes in reporting verb and the changes in inverted commas and then we have to concentrate on the tenses also pronoun adverbs and some specific adverbs also including modals so these are the rules which we have to follow while changing any sentence into indirect speech so for doing the practice you have to observe these rules very carefully read the pdf also very carefully which is sent to you and understand the exercises given in your bbc compacta i hope this topic is understood to all of you thank you